Today we're gonna to be going over how to make smooth slow motion in DaVinci Resolve 16. But first, if you guys are new here, my name is Sam Aldrich, AKA Sam the Cameraman, and each and every week we bring you guys new DaVinci Resolve tutorials, gear reviews, or just super, super cool videos that I had fun making with my friends or out on the road touring with people all around the world. But first things first, I did a giveaway this past week. Thank you to everybody who registered and entered for this giveaway. I could not believe the turnout we had. The amount of people that actually entered it was crazy and I was super impressed like and surprised. So thank you to everybody who entered the giveaway. But our winner is, drum roll. <laughs> Jacob Slesser. So thank you, Jacob, for entering. You are the winner. Thank you to everybody who entered. We will be doing more giveaways soon. And the more subscribers we get, the more comments and likes, the more engagement we get, the more giveaways we get to actually do. So make sure you guys are subscribing, liking these videos, sharing them to your friends that are video editors or people who just want to see cool videos. And make sure you guys are hitting that bell notification so you don't miss out on these giveaways when we are doing them. But let's not waste any more time and let's get into how to make smooth slow motion in DaVinci Resolve. Rah! Shoot, before we get into actually how to do it in DaVinci Resolve, we need to discuss slow motion in camera first. So first thing we need to discuss is that slow motion starts in the camera. Not every camera can shoot high frame rates, I understand that, but every bit of slow motion begins in camera, whether we shoot 60 frames per second, 120 frames per second, 24 frames per second, or 30 frames per second, or even more. I know some cameras can go all the way up to like 300 and 500, but with that being said, all slow motion starts with the frame rate that you decide to shoot the video in. So the higher the frame rate, the slower you can make your clips. So once you've decided you know, what frame rate is appropriate for what you're trying to shoot, and you shoot it in that frame rate, we can bring it into DaVinci, and that's when the magic starts to happen. So now let's actually get into DaVinci and learn how to make smooth slow motion. Rah! All right, guys, now that we are back here in DaVinci Resolve yet again, let's go over how to make some nice, smooth, slow motion. And like we just got done saying, shooting slow motion all starts with the camera, whether you're gonna choose 24 frames per second, 60, 120, 300, or whatever it is that your camera can do is where all of this is going to start. So I uploaded a 60 frame per second clip right here in our media pool. So the first thing to creating like true slow motion is converting this to whatever your timeline frame rate is. For me, all my timelines are always going to be 23.976 and to convert this 60 frame per second clip to 23.976, all you have to do is come over to your clip, hover over it, right click, come down to clip attributes. Click on that, and right here where it says video frame rate, it's at 60, we are gonna put it to 23.976. Click OK, and just like that, this clip is now converted to 23.976. So if we drag it into our timeline, this whole entire clip is gonna be in slow motion. So let's highlight it, unlink these clips, and let's get rid of this audio, because we don't need the audio for this. But if we play it back, this whole entire clip is in slow motion. So we're gonna trim this top end back so we don't need all of that, it's kind of shaky. And right there, this is slow motion, and that is you can create super slow motion just like that, but not everybody just wants to turn one solid clip to slow motion. Like what if we wanted this to be like real real time speed and then drop into slow motion on a certain point and then bring it right back up to like real time speed. And that is something that is definitely, definitely doable. So what I'm gonna do is right click on my clip and I'm gonna go to change clip speed. And right now 100% is gonna be slow motion. So I'm gonna bring it up to 250% and that's gonna get it pretty close to the real time speed, just like that. Now that we're back at the normal speed, 
we can start to do the slow motion adjustments. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure our playhead's over our clip. Let's find a spot that we wanna start the slow motion to start. And I wanna start the slow motion right here. So let's right click on our clip. And now what you wanna do is go to Retime Curve. You want your curves up. So let's drag this up just a little bit and drag this down. And let's expose this whole entire curve section right here as a default retime frame is going to already be selected and be up but in order to change that i'm going to come over here to this little arrow click it and this drop down menu is going to come up we want to uncheck retime frame at the bottom and we want to check retime speed just like that and as you can see it goes up to 400 percent we can adjust this to 500, 1,000, 800, whatever we want. Let's bring it back down. And what we wanna do is right here, I wanna start some slow motion. So let's zoom in on this a little bit. And if you look in your top, or if you look over here at the right hand side, there's this little keyframe button. If you hit a keyframe there, it's gonna generate a keyframe on your retime speed curve here. And all we gotta do is just pull down on the retime speed. Let's pull it down to 80%. Just like that. And now let's move our cursor or our playhead over. And I want to speed it back up right there. So all we have to do to speed it back up is click this keyframe and bring that right back up to 250. And just like that, we've created almost a speed ramp, but we've created slow motion just like that and we could leave it alone we could leave it right there but let's take this another step further and make this slow motion even better so the first thing we want to do is select these keyframes make sure you click them and they turn red and if you come over here in the middle and click the curve instead of the straight line it's going to create a nice curve for these uh, transitions that go in from the regular time to slow motion so we're going to come in and click this one, create the curve, and you can adjust these curves and make them longer and shorter just by clicking on them and pulling these little handles right here. I'm going to pull it out just a little bit, just like that, and here's how it looks with that. Nice and smooth in, nice and smooth out. Doesn't get much better than that, but yet it actually does. So if we come to the inspector tab, scroll down to retime and scaling, double click that, open it up, and you're gonna have all of these options right here. For the retime process, what you wanna select is optical flow. And then you wanna come down to most in motion estimation and click enhanced better. And from there, we wanna go resize filter to smoother. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create an even smoother playback on your slow motion. It allows you to drop your slow motion a little bit below that 100% down to the 80% or even maybe even down to 60% if you really wanted to push it. But for me, I'm happy with 80% on this 60 frame per second clip. And it's just gonna create super smooth slow motion, make sure you don't get any skip frames. And it's just gonna like fill in the gaps if any frames have been missed. And utilizing this optical flow is such a game-changing thing, especially when it comes to using 24 frames per second clips. So if you're shooting 4K at 24 frames per second and you want slow motion because not all cameras have 4K at 60 frames per second, I know I shoot on the Sony A7R 3 and that definitely does not. But if you're shooting you know, 30 frames per second or 24 frames per second and you don't have a lot of like movement in your clip and you want to slow it down, utilizing this optical flow um, technique will allow you to slow your clip down and get some good slow motion. Now, like I said, it is limited. If there's a lot of motion in your clips at 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second, it might get distorted a little bit. But if you don't have a lot of motion, 
it can be utilized and it can enhance your slow motion and get you that 4K slow motion as well. All right, guys, so that is gonna be it for slow motion in DaVinci Resolve. There's so many different options to actually make your slow motion slower and smoother within DaVinci, which is super, super cool. A lot of these things aren't in all editing software, so that the fact that DaVinci has it all into one software is super awesome, and the fact that it's free is super cool. Everything I make is on the free version. All my tutorials are on the free version, so if you wanna check out more, you know, I'll have you know cards popping up throughout the video check out some more tutorials uh everything like i said everything's on the free version nothing is on the paid and uh yeah thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing and getting us to this channel where it's at let's keep it going we're almost to 2000 i cannot believe it so make sure you guys are subscribing hit the bell notification hit those likes leave those comments and i'm going to catch you guys in the next one bye